What's up, everybody? I'm back with another game preview and score prediction. This time it's the Tennessee Volunteers versus the LSU Tigers. And I'm going to start out talking about the Tennessee Volunteers with uh, Josh Heupel. Uh, Tennessee coming in in this game undefeated, 4-0. They're coming off a bye week, so they 4-0. Uh, so they had time to rest and get ready for this game, which I'm sure Josh Heupel will have them well prepared. But – as far as tendency, we know they got an explosive offense with Hendon and Hooker. Uh, an, an explosive quarterback, a great athlete overall. As far as the Tennessee's defense, they are much improved from the past couple of years. Josh Heupel got this team in the forefront of the SEC East right now. So, <clears throat> you know, I think Tennessee going to continue to win a lot of games this year. So, but anyway... Talking about Hendon Hooker, he already passed almost 1,200 yards and ain't played before four games. Uh, he got 1,193 and eight touchdowns, so right at 1,200 yards over four games. Shit, that's 300 yards a game passing, basically. But anyway, uh, Joe Milton, he also going to pass for three touchdowns, so they're doing good. Also, as far as uh, rushing, Hendon Hooker got – 175 yards rushing with three touchdowns. So he's responsible for 11 touchdowns over the season. So he's doing his thing. Uh, Jalen Wright, four touchdowns rushing. Jabbar Smalls got five touchdowns rushing. So, I mean, running game, they doing it that way too. Also, uh, Dylan Simpson, three touchdowns, three touchdowns on the ground. So running, throwing, they can get it done. Uh, offensive lines open up running lanes for these guys. So it is what it is, man. Um, <clears throat> I thought the dynamic duo of of uh, Hen and Hooker and Cedric Tillman was going to be the thing to watch, but they can run it. They can throw it. Uh, matter of fact, uh, Cedric Tillman only got one touchdown receiving on 246 yards. Now, uh, Jalen Wyatt, I mean Hyatt, he got three touchdowns on 325 yards receiving. So uh, doing their thing, um, you got Ron McCoy, two touchdowns, 211 yards receiving. And then you got Keaton, right? Ramel Keaton with uh, 183 yards and a touchdown. But Tennessee, they had 11 guys, 11 guys to reach the, that reach the end zone this uh, this season. So they they getting the ball to several guys and several guys taking it in the end zone. As far as uh, the defense, uh, they already got like uh, I believe four sacks, four interceptions, with uh, seven sacks I believe. Yeah, four interceptions, seven sacks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, eight sacks on the season. Nine, nine sacks on the season. So four interceptions and nine sacks. So they getting stops when they need to get stops. Uh, playing great defense, playing great offense, playing overall team ball so like i say i'm looking for tennessee to continue on this path i mean i really don't see nobody in the east that can stop tennessee besides maybe georgia that's about it i think they can beat kentucky but anyway as far as the west now there's some teams in the west they want to beat but anyway uh talking about uh lsu they coming off a win over auburn which I thought they was going to lose. It was a comeback win. So Auburn went up 14 nothing on them, and they came back and beat them 21-17. Uh, so uh, as far as LSU's offense, they're averaging 443 yards a game. They're only giving up 293 yards a game. So they in the positive almost 150 yards. So that's a remedy to win games. But – LSU, uh, they lost one, and that was the first game, which I thought they should have won. But, hey, special, t special teams got them that game. But they don't rectify those mistakes. Jaden Daniels, he's uh, doing his thing at quarterback. Uh, he done threw for 915 yards, six touchdowns, no interceptions. So he's taking care of the ball. Only two interceptions they got was from Garrett Nussmeyer. So I don't think he'll be playing this game at all. But anyway, uh, Jaden Daniels, he's also their leading rusher. 
321 yards on the ground with three touchdowns. Uh, Amani Godwin, 214 yards, five touchdowns. Kane got four touchdowns rushing, so they doing their thing. Uh, Emory Jones Jr. got a touchdown. So, hey, LSU, they doing their thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten guys done reached the end zone for those guys. Defensively, um, LSU, they got three three uh, interceptions. They got one, two, three, six, eight, mm, eight, nine, ten, eleven sacks on the season. So the defense is doing pretty good, man. But guess what? They won't beat Tennessee. That's just not going to happen. I know Brian Kelly. He's got uh, he's got LSU looking good. They're a much improved team from last season. To matter of fact, the past two seasons. But guess what? Uh, <laughs> Tennessee is more improved than LSU. So uh, I'm sorry, LSU. You will not win this game. Tennessee is coming off a bye two. Unless Tennessee makes some catastrophic mistakes, get a whole bunch of penalties, Tennessee will win this game. And um, I'm thinking Tennessee, uh, shit, I'm picking them 31-17. Uh, <laughs> um, That's my score prediction for Tennessee. And I think Tennessee will move on up to 5-0. Roll down tight.